Hi, my name is Nana Otto, and today I'll be reviewing A New Darkness by Joseph Delaney. To get us into this book, what category or genre do you think it fits into? This book is a fantasy book, and it's set in medieval England. So there's a lot of witches, wizards, magical creatures. What was something that you liked about this fantasy book? I like the premise of the book, and there's a lot of action in the book as well. Opposite of that, what was something you disliked about this book? One thing I disliked was the pacing of the book. Some parts went a little too fast, other parts went kind of slow. Was there a character that you specifically liked in this book? My favorite was Thomas Ward. He's the main character, and he's involved in mostly everything because the book is centered around him and his new apprentice. Were there any antagonists in this book or any characters that you liked the least? Well, a couple. There's a couple magical creatures that he has to fight which almost kill him and they could have easily taken his life if he had not been more careful. What changes does Thomas Ward go through? So, in the beginning of the book, he is the local spook and he needs an apprentice. And then Jenny, who's a 15-year-old girl, comes up to him, offering herself the position of the apprenticeship, even though the apprentice is normally a boy. And Thomas is only in his first year of being the spook. So that'd be a very unprecedented move from him. So eventually he caves in and lets Jenny become his apprentice. Can you describe one significant episode in this book? One significant episode would be when <clears throat> Thomas and Jenny find a monster who has been eating little girls in the villages around. And they explore his treehouse and they eventually get captured by that monster. Are there any specific techniques that the author uses to tell this story better? So the author will jump from the perspective of Thomas to Jenny and back to Thomas and back and forth again. So we get their third person view of the story and how it happened. So with the different views of this story and the very interesting topic matter, would you persuade a friend to read the book or not to read the book? I would persuade a friend to read the book. It's very hard to put down once you start. And what do you think of the ending of this book? I like the ending. It's really suspenseful, and it leaves a lot of questions to be answered. Would you want to read uh, a sequel or a prequel, and what would you want to read about? Well, this book is the first of the series, so I would want to read the second and third book. Thank you. Thanks.